Me as here with another video for you. This is Starlink Review. This is my second video on here. Be sure if you haven't seen the setup video and all that, be sure to check that out. Um, so we've had it for a few weeks now, a couple weeks in the beta program still. We're in Northeast Indiana and it's March 14th, 2021. 314. Pie day. Let me get some pie. Yeah, honey. All right, all right, all right. Enough about the pie. So, awesome, Starlink, you're great, you're amazing. Couple of hiccups along the way, not the major. We did have one night where PlayStation wouldn't get online, our Android phones wouldn't get online, but our Rokus were online, no problem. What is up with that? So we put the email, Starlink, and they actually gave us a call. I couldn't believe it. Called us. It was in the evening too, which was kind of weird. It was like 10 o'clock our time. Gave us a call, personally called us, and explained what was going on. So apparently I had something with IP addresses or something, and they said the fix is unplug it and plug it back in 15 minutes later. But by the time they called us, it was a couple days later. It was working by morning when we had the problem. So I think it just whatever i i not even sure but they fixed it they got fixed been great i ran seven speed tests a little bit earlier just a few minutes ago and they're all over the place that's one thing the speeds are not consistent but they're consistently over a certain amount for the most part they stay above that 50 megabits uh download speed um, I've seen in the hundreds several times, uh, but for the most part, it's right around that 50 mark. Um, and occasionally it is below it. Uh, upload speeds are a little lower than what I would have liked. Come on, we want to go up into space. Let me go up into space faster. I want to go faster. But anyways, so about 20 megabits is about the highest i've ever seen it up um, usually 10 to 15 i would say is about the now about the average latency ping it consistently is below that 40. occasionally it gets a little higher um, but it's usually around 40 uh, milliseconds so overall Two thumbs up there is beta downtime expected there are a few moments with no satellites in the sky um, we have not moved the dish since we've set it up again watch that setup video uh, it's sat here the whole time eventually probably going to get a more permanent mount of course uh, let's see what else pie day is it time for pie i think it's about time for pie I'm going to show you those uh, speed tests we got. Uh, my editor, who's awesome, check out his camera. Uh, Little C's production. Got some great content. So, and check it out right here. He, he's going to put a link or something. I, I don't know how that works. It's magic. Boom, there it is. Boom, I got superpowers. Boom, there's another one, I bet. I don't know. Who knows? All right, later. Hey, y'all. BS inside the house. We're going to get ourselves on the interwebs. So I want to do a live speed test just to show you. So that's what we're going to do. We're at speedtest.net. Uh, the speed test is run by Oopla. And wow, look at all this Samsung stuff they want to sell me. Hey, go. Let's see what we got. And yes, this is on Starlink, as you can see there. There we go. Look at those speeds. Let's go. Let's go. We can do it. Let's go, buddy. Woo-wee. Green flag racing now. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, come on. We can get higher. That's not bad, though. That's pretty darn good. Uh, let's see what we got on upload. And this is, this is what is disappointing to me a little bit. I... I really thought it'd be a lot higher than that. Um, maybe it's my placement. Maybe those little bit of trees are getting in the way. It, it When you go on the app, it says uh, no 
um, no obstructions, but so there's our final result. So 32 milliseconds for our ping, and that's your latency. Uh, download is 73.4 megabits, and upload is 6.58. We'll go ahead and do one more here just to give it a fair shot. And again, the uh, the screenshots we're going to post, they were from a little bit earlier, but all within a few minutes. And that was on my laptop. Um, and this is wireless, uh, this computer too. But there you go. See, now that's way low. And I don't get why sometimes when you do a second speed test, it goes so much lower. And now it ramped up towards the end. And th that's what I've noticed is... I, and I think some of it has to do probably with the, the website itself. Um, we can go ahead and go to fast.com after this too, just to see what we're at. But that pings at 48, which is higher than what they expect. The download's at 20.81, which is way lower than what we expect. And upload's at 14.64. So I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, in this one and next video, next clip will be fast.com. All right, here we go. We're going on fast.com. Let's see how fast we can go. Now, when I opened it up, I already opened it up. It was right at 25. This was right after the last clip. And that's about the speeds we were showing at uh, speedtest.net too. So we'll go ahead and refresh. We'll do a quick one. And there you go. It's right back up. So it, I didn't get on the app. It could have been you know, beta downtime stuff going on, the dish could have been moving, who knows. But now we're back up at 83 there. We're gonna go ahead and show more and let it do its latency test, which looks like unloaded right at 40 milliseconds, which is what you're looking at on speed test. And upload is right at 10. So that's pretty consistent with the majority of the time on what we're getting. So BS out.